hold up. There's one thing that we have to do, and I do this every single time. And if I can figure out how to do it real quick, like, I know it looks like I'm just, you know, being stupid right now, but I promise there's a method to the madness. There it is! There it is! Look at him go! Look at him go! He's so cool! He's jogging on that treadmill! He's making those gains! I support him! Whoa! Asteroid, is that a... Is that a haircut? No way! No way! Radical! You're kidding me! Yeah, it, it is a haircut. I, uh, I was like, you know what? I'm sick of the whole mop thing. Let me go ahead, get it nice and cut, nice and short. We got the long on top, we got the short all the way around the sides, and we got it short in the back. I have not had it this short since, like, fourth grade so it's a little bit ridiculous a little bit insane this was a pretty massive change for me as i casually throw on my beanie but fail miserably in the process it's uh it's interesting i actually really dig it though it's gonna take a little bit of styling it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to but for the most part i'm actually pretty happy with it let me know down below in the comment section what you dudes think but anyways what is up my dudes welcome back to the next episode of our pokemon alpha sapphire randomized scrambled egglock we are here it is time we're back we're running around this Eiffel Tower, is this? Oh, this is based on Kalos, isn't it? Square Tower. This monument was built to commemorate the friendship between Mall of City and Lumo City in the Kalos region. That's so cool. That's so cool, man. It's one of those things that, like, you know, I vaguely knew, but I never, like, really fully registered how symbolic this structure was. But you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for, cl for clicking on the video. Thank you so much for supporting the series. Now, this is the first episode. Umaro Numo. Numer. Wow. But yeah, this is the first episode of uh, this project that is being recorded in the morning. It's currently 6.30 a.m. I go to school in about an hour, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous. So if my commentary is all over the place, if I sound tired, it's because I am, man. I got up at 5.30 today, which I know isn't super early for a lot of people, but especially for me, which I am very much a night owl, uh, it's it's interesting to say the least. Usually I get up at like around seven for school, uh, but no, I'm chilling here. We're rocking out 5:30. I haven't even had my coffee yet. It's that bad. So I'm sorry if my commentary is a little iffy today. But without further ado, we're gonna get straight into this. We have Donkey Kong level 15 with acrobatics, mock punch, fire punch, and thunder punch. We have the Iron Fist ability on him now. He did evolve in the previous episode, but I went ahead and I, I switched out his ability in between episodes because obviously when they evolve, they lose their their hacked ability so i went through i changed it back to iron fist so we're good to go next up we got m level 18 with scald flamethrower tail glow and cosmic power i don't even know what to do with you man like i want to evolve you and we definitely got to evolve you soon for you to actually put in work but as of right now it's it's a little bit of a tedious task it's a task that i'm definitely kind of putting off but uh we're gonna have to eventually you know Get on that. Anyways, without further ado, we got Reebok level 27, shaking his arms back and forth. You already know how it is. He has Body Slam, Fusion Bolt, Dragon Ants, and Blaze Kick with the huge power abilities, putting in the absolute work. Next up, we got Gilgamesh, level 25, with Fire Pledge, Ancient Power, U-Turn, and Aura Sphere. Next up, we got Cerberus, level 29, MVP of the team, with Scald, Dragon Ants, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. And then last but not least, we have the newest addition to the squad, Alex, the level 18, Riolu, with Swords Dance, Meteor Mash, Close Combat, and Bullet Punch with huge power as well and apparently apparently alex the riolu is actually a reference to dylan and i had no idea i literally had no idea i had no idea this man called his lucario's alex but i guess the more you know man i guess the more you know but that's absolutely fantastic i'm super excited to have riolu on the team we're definitely gonna have to switch train him today for sure thousand percent also we're broke as hell so we're not gonna be we're not gonna be shopping anymore let me just you know put away the credit card let's walk out not really feeling my wallet right now my wallet's not really feeling too good he's like spider-man from infinity war spoiler alert do I, do I have to spoil that? Or do I have to put a spoiler alert in front of that? I don't even know. I don't even know. Infinity Wars, one of those interesting movies where it's like, you know, it's been almost a year, but like, it's that big of a, of a spoiler. It's kind of like, ah. I don't know. I don't know. Yo, oh wait, we don't have Rock Smash. Damn it. So in today's episode, though, let me go ahead and we rewind a little bit. It's rewind time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're going to be going all the way north. And we're going to be trying to get a bunch of encounters today. I think we can go ahead and get at least one Route 111 encounter and then hopefully one Route 113 encounter, like the Ash Route that's up there. So we should be able to get at least two encounters, assuming we make it all the way to the top of this route. Now, 
why am I going back for Machop? Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just teach someone Rock Smash. I really don't want to. I really, really, really don't want to. But then again, we did just get a Riolu, and maybe... Maybe we can pull it off. But then again, his moveset's so damn good. I, like, that's honestly my problem right now, is all these Pokemon movesets are just so damn good, it's hard to... It's hard to want to get rid of anything. So I think what we're going to do is... I think I'm actually going to take Riolu off the team for now. Or... Should I take a higher level mod off the team? Because I we're gonna need Rock Smash. And like I don't or no, I'm not I'm not gonna take a higher level mod. Or no, I'll take M. I'm gonna take M off the team for now. I'm gonna just, just gonna casually yeet M off the team. I think that's gonna be the play to make. Because as of right now, M is probably the least helpful member on the team. I mean, I hate to hate to put that title on you, M. Like I love and appreciate you 100 percent but uh, I think we should hold off on M, just because of the fact that we're gonna need that HM Slave, and I really don't wanna teach Rock Smash to anyone else, so M can hold off, and then, you know, we're gonna have, like, a dedicated live stream to make sure we get M up to par. So M is technically still on the team, but he's just not gonna be on the team right now. He's gonna be taking a little bit of a break, a little bit- Oh, I didn't even grab the Machop, damn it. Uh. And also, I totally just realized, but we can teach uh, Machop strength as well, because I'm pretty sure we got that in the previous episode. So now, Machop is kind of rolling, man. This man is the greatest HM slave I think I've ever had in my entire life. I know it's a pretty bold statement to make. We've had a lot of great HM slaves, but Machop, man? I don't know. I don't know. Something about his muscles is just speaking to me. So we're going to go ahead, teach this man strength, and now he's really going to be strong. He's going to be moving boulders at the speed of sound. Um, but I'm excited, man. Hopefully you guys are excited for today's episode. I know I kind of just rapidly changed the subject, but I'm actually really, really pumped for today's episode, despite the fact that I feel like I'm going to pass out at any moment. <laughs> Literally, like, if I just hit the desk, then you, you know. You know what happened, and it's not that I died, it's just that I am tired and I don't have my coffee, man. It's, uh, it's a trip. Speaking of coffee, though, uh, I was talking about in the previous episode how Starbucks no longer sells pumpkin spice, and I was asking you guys for, for suggestions, was by, or for, wow, rewind, holy shit, I cannot speak. That's a freaking Weavile, okay, wait, pause, pause, so much just happened, I can't speak, and we just got an encounter. So this technically counts as our Route 111 encounter. Which is actually really good because we needed a Route 111 encounter anyway. So we'll go ahead, try and catch this thing real quick, like. But uh, as I was saying before, right? Let me go back to the current conversation at hand. Um, you guys suggested a bunch of Starbucks drinks to replace the pumpkin spice that is no longer available, right? So first of all, thank you so much for that. That is very much appreciated. And you guys came through with some awesome suggestions. Uh, but what I ultimately decided to do, well, I just realized everything is super effective against this thing. Okay, let's not. Let's not. Let's go into... Let's go into... Ah, I guess I guess we'll do Donkey Kong. I literally was just in with Donkey Kong, so I don't know why I even switched out to begin with. I guess I was a little scared, you know? Which I guess rightfully so. I mean, this thing could this thing could body us. You never know. Weavile is pretty strong. Um, but yeah, no. So I asked for suggestions. You guys came through, which was absolutely fantastic. Thank you for that. And I ultimately settled on this cinnamon shortbread drink. I think that's what it was. It was cinnamon something, right? And it was actually really good. Like, it was almost comparable to, um... It was almost comparable to the pumpkin spice drink, which is a hard bar to set. Like, that's a, that's a really high bar, and the fact this drink came close uh, was a little bit ridiculous. We're gonna go for the acrobatics. It's not gonna do anything, man. Uh, you see, I don't want to waste my potions on Donkey Kong right now, because, like, you know, it's not... Not really in a, a, a super serious battle. I mean, we're literally just trying to catch this damn Weavile. But, like, at the same time, I, I need Donkey Kong in to actually weaken this man down. Because I don't know who else could do it. I mean, I guess Reebok. But I feel like Reebok's gonna kill him. Honestly, like, Weavile's not very bulky. Like, I think... I, I don't think Reebok would have too many issues just bodying this man. I'm gonna go for the Thunder Punch, which actually should probably do more damage because of the fact that it is Iron Fist boosted. But I don't think it'll kill, so I think we'll be fine. Uh, yeah, no, we're totally good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go into Gilgamesh, and then we're gonna throw a bunch of balls. Um, so yeah, it's an early mor morning recording session, which is nice for a couple of reasons, because it's like, oh, I can wake up early, I can get a nice start to my day, I don't have to rush, I can just go ahead, wake up, record a video, and honestly, just the fact of recording wakes me up, so... Um, that's really, really nice, but at the same time, it's like, I'm recording in the morning, my commentary can suffer, I have to get up early, like, that's no fun, which means I also have to go to bed earlier, 
it's uh it's interesting but honestly i'm not exactly opposed to this like i'd be down to do more morning uh recording sessions if i had to i mean in case you guys are wondering literally this session is because i absolutely had to it's currently uh january 9th i go to school and this episode has to go up today so like i have to have to get on it you know what i'm saying but uh hopefully we'll get ahead of the curve soon i know i know especially these past couple of episodes have been very like you know, very, like, day of, which is not really how I want this series to be, uh, but I'm just, I'm just honestly glad we've been consistent, like, I'm just honestly glad that we've been killing it in that department, despite the fact that it's been day of, and I'm, I'm actually been really, and I've actually been really, really happy with the quality of this project, um, so that's absolutely fantastic, but yeah, I might do more recording sessions, is basically my, my gist of this whole spiel, right now, I might do more, I don't know, we'll see what happens, it is kind of nice for a couple of reasons, but it's also, like, it's also like, God, man, I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep. Uh, yo, critical capture. Yo, bet. Yo, bet. Yo, bet. Okay. So I think what we'll do, right? Uh, should we just, yeah, we should just switch out this encounter right now. I was thinking about just waiting until we get to the next Pokemon Center, but that's not going to be like for another episode. Like, literally, we're getting to that point now where this route's going to take us so long that uh it's gonna be a little bit it's gonna be a little bit and also sorry if this episode is like a little bit shorter than usual as i said i i have school in like eh, like 40 ish 40 ish minutes um so i might have to wrap it up just a little bit early just to make sure i'm actually on time you know all right but we got weavile so we're gonna go ahead name this man token of course because he's a little token boy a little token boy, look at his little token face being all token like. You know, honestly, Weavile is is technically no, not even technically. He literally is a token. I mean, look at the gem on his head. That's that's a fucking token. That's a fucking Chuck and Cheese token if I've ever seen one. It literally looks like this man came out of Chuck and Cheese. Chucky e. Cheese. Chuck e. Cheese. Wow, pronunciation is hard. Um, but it literally looks like this man came out of Chuck and e. Cheese and he was like, oh my god, I got sixty tickets. Ah! I love him. I love him. Speaking of Weavile, though, I actually, I do play Weavile in, uh, in Pokken. And it's, Weavile's one of those Pokemon where, like, I didn't really like Weavile. Like, I was never, like, the biggest, biggest Weavile fan in the world. But I started playing him in Pokken, and I kind of just, I kind of just fell in love with him. It's weird. It's weird. But I really like speed characters, and I absolutely love how Weavile plays in Pokken tournaments. So, like, getting to use him in Pokken kind of just translated my love for him over to the main series games as well now with that being said we're gonna go ahead get an egg for this fantastic weavile we are currently on box 11 yo so we're only two boxes away from uh going through all the boxes that's amazing but without further ado here we go i still don't have another method for this i'm sorry i apologize i i i don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I might eventually maybe possibly get a better form for it, but I, I'm kinda kinda liking the convenience of just, you know, rub my stylus across the screen. We got slicer here. We're gonna go ahead and throw my matchup right here. Gonna throw slicer right here. Gonna make sure I know how to spell it. S-L-I-C-E-R. Easy piece of lemon squeezy. I pass kindergarten. What up? Alright, so now we're gonna go and hash this man. If I had to guess, I would say a scyther. Uh, which is actually pretty cool because we lost the first Scyther we had in this playthrough, so I would not mind an additional Scyther. I could use Scyther Part 2 Electric Boogaloo, and that is NOT Scyther Part 2 Electric Boogaloo, but I'm not even mad! I'm not even mad! I'll totally take that. I love Pawneyard. I love Pawneyard. Man, we're getting so many creative mons in this project. I love that. I love that. Like, I never would have expected to get a freaking Pawneyard. Like, Pawneyard is such a out there pokemon you know you just you wouldn't expect it but that's amazing that's absolutely amazing so we have the level one slicer with what do you got what do you got we got the toxic orb with poison heal yo bet with bullet punch meteor mash psycho cut and origin pulse that is redonkulous thank you so much to ever sending this egg that's insanity so we're gonna go ahead level slice slicer up and uh, we actually have a lot of options for our team right now we might we might be uh we might be in a good position to kind of mix some things around. Um, but I think what I'm going to do real quick, like, let me let me level him up. And then we'll go ahead and figure out exactly what we're going to do with this. Okay, Slicer's now level 19, and we can go ahead and figure out what we want to do here. I think we're just going to put Machop back on the team, if I'm being real with you guys. And then we'll go ahead 
and uh, and figure it out later, I guess. It's one of those things where like we have so many good mods, it's hard to pick and choose, you know, what we want to do with the team. But I think at this point, we'll just go ahead and rock out with what we have because not gonna lie, what we have right now is incredibly powerful, and then we could definitely use uh, Slicer as a a backup mod. Or what we could do is we could throw Slicer on the team. Uh, maybe in replace for M and then throw M back on the team when he evolves or when she evolves um, So we'll see what happens, but as of right now, we do need the rock smash So I'll just I'll keep my shop there and we'll get through these next couple of routes And then we'll kind of figure out what we want to do if we need to we can go ahead and have a team recap uh, Or not team recap. Wow <laughs> You can tell you can tell how tired I am But if we need to we can go ahead and do a grinding montage uh, Where we go in and, and level up these mods and figure out what we want to do because honestly at this point like we could have a Lucario as our steel type or we could have Ponyard. I don't think there's any point in having both because you know, they're kind of like both steel types I mean, I mean maybe there's a benefit to both like we have the dark type on Ponyard, which would be nice But I don't know. We'll we'll keep going. We'll keep progressing and then we'll figure it out after we get out of these HM ridden routes. We got secret base trainer Arene. What do you got for me? Crobat? Ah, it's I love Crobat or I love what was his name again? I love I love Crobat. Something like that, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to our Zubat, the OG, the OG. I miss him, man. I miss him. We're gonna go into Reebok real quick as I start talking like Dylan. Gotta get some sweet tea. Yeehaw. Am I right, boys? Am I right? We'll buy the fusion bolt. This damn crowbat with my sweet tea. Yeehaw. Oh my goodness. JK, I love Dylan. Yo, shout out to Dylan. He's a good boy. He rated me on stream last night. And uh, that was absolutely fantastic. Which, by the way, shout out to all of you guys for coming out to the stream last night. We streamed Mario Galaxy 2, uh, and that was absolutely fantastic. I literally had so much fun with that live stream. In case you guys are wondering, I love Mario Galaxy. Mario Galaxy is one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, it's kind of crazy, kind of redonkulous. Shout out to Donkey Kong here. But I have never played uh, Mario Galaxy 2. And so, literally, this playthrough that we're doing, which, by the way, is going up every Tuesday and Thursday, we're going to be live streaming it. Um, this playthrough that we're doing right now is totally 100% blind for the most part. I mean, I've seen some gameplay, like, here and there. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, but, but, I've never played the game before, so it's very much new to me. He's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Oh, this thing is Prankster, doesn't it? Damn it. Damn it. And we're going to miss the plays kick. Wow. Okay. Is that, is that a, is that some struggle? I'm seeing here. Are we are we struggling? Is that is that what this is? He goes for flame wheel. Wow, this man is just a fire boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Catch this blaze kick. I mean, I know you know we have the huge power. It's not gonna kill though. Wow, the burn really diminished that. Okay, okay, that's cool. Let's go for the body slam to hopefully finish him off. He's gonna go for the moon blast. Ooh. Whoo! Wait, wait. I think we're okay. I think we're okay because the battle's gonna end, so it's not gonna take burn damage, right? Thank God! Thank God! Wow! Wow, that was clutch! Wow, that was clutch! If the battle hadn't ended right there, we literally would have lost Reebok. That, that's that's cool. <laughs> that's interesting. Nice, nice. Okay, we're gonna heal Reebok. Do we have a burn berry? Uh, poisoning paralysis. Damn it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back and heal. Uh. <laughs> Man, I feel like we keep going back and forth. I feel like we've been in Mauville for three episodes now. Which, I don't even think that's me just, you know, feeling like that. Like, we literally have been in Mauville for three episodes now. Why are we still in Mauville? Why am I still going to this Pokemon Center? We should be moving on by now. Man, and I'm trying to go. Like, I'm trying to yeet, but, like, things keep popping up. Like, I need an HM Slave, and then I catch a mod, and, like, I go back and switch out the egg, or, oh my goodness, I freaking got a burn on my Reebok, and now I gotta go back and heal it, because I'm not gonna be going through all these damn routes with a burn on my Reebok. So now we just keep having to go back and forth, and it's annoying. Um, but yeah, no, hopefully we can still make some progress in today's episode. I feel like we're, we're getting kind of close, dangerously close to that 30 minute mark. And we're not even, we're not very far, man. Like we're still in the same place. Come on. Like we've done an okay amount, like with the encounter and stuff, but like we haven't really done, oh my goodness, another encounter. We haven't really like done anything. We haven't like made physical progress. That's Amanda Buzz. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I really like Amanda Buzz. Amanda Buzz pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Pretty okay, Pokemon. We're gonna run away. Donkey Kong, we're like, Donkey Run, am I right? Am I right? Instead of throwing barrels, he's running around. He's running marathons. Call him Usain Bolt. 
Uh, okay, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna throw Alex up front. We'll put Cerberus right there, keep everything in level order, and I feel like that will be solid. If I can go ahead and start training up Alex, that'd be nice. That'd be awesome. I would definitely love to do that. Um, so we'll keep going forward. Actually, yo, we could get like like two more encounters in today's episode. Now that I think about it, because we do have the cave encounter as well, and we also have uh, the root, the ash root up there. So that's that's fantastic. I'm excited for that. I'm gonna go for. Should I take the risk? I'm gonna take the risk. Bad risk. Bad risk. Really bad risk. <laughs> that, that wasn't even like, that wasn't even like I made a mistake. That was literally like, I just, I just took Donkey Kong and threw him to the, damn it. God. Okay, yeah, that was, that was just, that was just stupid on every level. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna front. I'm not even gonna front. I literally just made the dumbest mistake of my life. Like, I, I, wow. I'm gonna drink water now. Nonchalantly. I, um, yeah, that was not good. It's not good. Not my best play. <laughs> definitely, definitely not. Definitely not my best play. Is it, is it, is it because I'm tired? Am I gonna make that excuse right now? Is that the excuse I'm gonna make? Why did I go for Scald? Why did I do that? It did half. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, wow. I, I, I really just did that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel really bad. I feel really bad, man. That was someone's egg, and I literally just took him and bodied him. I was like, I hatched this man, and I already had the oven going. Like, I was already making the scrambled eggs, and he was... He, he just got out of the egg. That was... That was sad. That was actually depressing. I'm really sorry. That was just gross. That was honestly really just gross. I'm strong if I cry, I lose. What did he say? What did I say? This man's buff as hell though. Look at look at Vinny over here. Look at Vinny in his sailor costume. A little bit wild if I do say so myself. We're gonna send an Alex though. I'm actually so sad that we just lost my Inferno. And like, I, I just threw him away. Like, that wasn't even like, oh, he got a crit, whoa. That was me just being like, yeah, you know, fuck you. Fuck you, Monferno. I'm sorry. That was, that was, that was just gross. I don't even really have any excuses for that. Like, I, I was just kind of, I, I kind of just wanted to see if he could handle it. And I wanted to just cross my fingers and hope he didn't have a water tip attack. But obviously he definitely did. And that was a stupid risk to, to, to take, to, to, to take if I can stop stuttering. It was a stupid risk. Extremely stupid risk. I'm going to go for Blaze Kick and absolutely body this Hone Edge. Dude, I love Hone Edge high key. Hi, Key. You know, most people would be like, oh, you know, he's based on a sword. It's a Pokemon that's based on an inanimate object. Wow! Crazy. Crazy, right? It's gross. Uh, I don't want it. But I I love, I love Hone Edge. I love Aegislash. I love uh, Dewblade. They're like, honestly, some of my favorite Pokemon of, of Gen 6. I also really, really, really love Heliolisk, though. Heliolisk is probably my favorite Gen 6 Pokemon. If I had to choose one, but Aegislash is also really up there for me. Like, it's it's fantastic. I love a lot of the Gen 6 mons, dude. Gen 6 had some great mons, even though it didn't have very many, but it had some it had some great ones. It had some great ones. Wah! Yo, come on, you big old sailor. Stop crying over there. Stop being like Popeye and, and be, be tough. Be manly. You got this, man. Now, actually, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. There's one thing that we have to do, and I do this every single time. Every single time I, uh, I, I, I go to this, this place, right, in this game. Um, and if I can figure out how to do it real quick, like, I, I know, I know, I know it looks like I'm just, you know, being stupid right now, but I promise there is a method to the madness. There is a method to the madness. There it is! There it is! Look at him go! Look at him go! He's so cool! He's jogging on that treadmill! He's making those gains! I support him. Oh my god, that's my that's my hiker friend. Shout out to my hiker boy. But yeah, now that's a cute little glitch you can do. I don't know. Or is it a glitch really? It's kind of a glitch. It's like an exploit, really. But yeah, no, I, I love that. I love that in this game. So every single time I run past this part, I can't help but do it. Like I just I have to. It's one of those things that like you know how to do it, so you kinda just you have to do it. That's a freaking slacking. Okay, I'm not gonna play games with this. I'm not gonna be not gonna be not gonna be turning the tables with this one. Or actually no, I am going to be turning the tables with this one. We're going to switch 
into Cerberus because as I said, games are not something that I'm playing today. So <clears throat> we're gonna handle this real quick and it's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be easy. Lovely kiss! And that's gonna put us to sleep. Really? Really? Is this is this is this what we're doing? I'm gonna try and dragon dance. Because high key, dude, I feel like I'm gonna need that plus one to knock this man out. Oh! Oh, he has Tron! He does have Tron! Okay, we'll just go for Earthquakes then. Nice! Nice! That's fantastic! Earth power! Ha! We're immune! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but you're not immune to my ground type attack! Get out of. Oof. That did a gross amount of damage. Alright, I'm gonna go for Scald then. Tron! Let's try and get the burn. I feel like that'll help uh, residually. And actually, Scald does more. Wow! Wow! Is that just because this man is like, you know, less. not specially defensive? I mean, that, that could be it. That could be it. Get a burn? No burn. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll go over the Scald again. Finish him off. Nice and easy. Lemon. Squeezy. Literally the easiest slacking battle, excuse me, I've ever had in my entire life. Literally. I don't think I've ever had an easier slacking battle. I don't know what my throat's doing right now. Like, it's one of those things where it's not quite a hiccup, but it's kind of just like a... I don't even know what it is. Like, how do you describe it? It's like a hiccup, right? But it's not a hiccup. It's like a half hiccup. It's like a half cup right and it just kind of swells up and then it just stops your commentary but it doesn't actually hiccup i don't know i'm doing a really bad job of explaining this hopefully like i can kind of get that point across i feel like i don't know i feel like that's a pretty relatable thing like i feel like the thing that i was just experiencing is pretty common like the the throat thing but i just don't know um i just don't know how to describe it it was such an indescribable feeling i don't know i don't know but we knocked out the trap pinch rest in peace and we got fairy gold price i lost Cool. I mean, you don't have to screech at me, but cool. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you, man. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fight Treadmill Boy. What's up? What's up, Treadmill Boy? My legs are solid from pounding up and down the mountains. I'm not going to buckle easily, friend. Yeah, I mean, this man buckling up and down those mountains on this flat plane. Ah, ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. He's sitting there on his treadmill up these mountains. He, like, slightly makes the treadmill go up. Oh, up a little bit, he elevates it up a little bit, and suddenly it's just like, oh my god, I'm mountain climbing. Ha! Huh, I am an intense workout athlete. Wow, crazy running carbohydrates. What's another what's another fitness word? Fitness! Gym. Endorphin rush. I learned that from Dylan. Um <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I respect his wishes to go ahead and, and be a treadmill runner, though. I respect it. We have Yadma here, though, who is literally a baby Gugamesh. And, uh, it's kinda cute. It's kinda cute. We're gonna hit this man with a blaze kick. I'm sorry, man. You're not gonna be too cute after you catch this burning freaking foot to your face. Get out of here, man. Talking about alliteration. That was, that was a, that was a big ol' oof. Okay! This man's about to send in a ho -o. Cool. Cool. Fun. Okay. We're gonna go for Fusion Bolt. I think that'll, I think that'll be good. I think that'll be solid. I think that'll be what we gotta do. Ho oh, oh, we're like, oh no! Got him! Get out of here! Ah! Oh! That was too easy. <laughs> Whew, that was too easy. That was too easy. Toros, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Let's keep let's keep going with Reebok. Reebok's killing it right now. Reebok is absolutely killing it right now. I'll go for the body slam. Nice and stab. Huge power boosted. You already know what's up. Like, this man, he's not living. He's not living. Nothing is living. This man's huge power wrath. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. And we defeated Bird Keeper Trent. So, I think we're going to go ahead and do is we'll grab the encounter from this cave. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and, and wrap the episode up. I'm sorry we weren't able to make too many... Too much, too many, too much progress in today's episode. I'm really sorry about that, but I think for the most part we did. Oh, it's an Amora! Oh, speaking of Gen 6 Pokemon that I love, man, he's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Okay, I'm not going to stay in with Alex because I feel like he's going to kill him. So I'm going to go into, I guess, Gilgamesh? I guess Gilgamesh. He's going to have a rock type attack, though, so I don't know how I feel about that. Um, This is tough. This is tough because we really can't weaken this thing down. Like I don't know. Uh, actually, we could go for a body slam. Let's go for a body slam with Reebok. I think that'll be. I think that'll be fine. This man has defensive. He has a rock type. But yeah, no, I love Amora, dude. Amora is so damn cool. Ha! Pun intended. Pun intended. Also, 
I was also, also, as I was saying earlier, though, yeah, we'll probably go ahead, uh, catch the Zamora, and then wrap up the episode. I feel like that'll be a good place to stop. No! No! Reebok! Ugh, that was gross. <laughs> that was disgusting. That was disgusting. Really, Reebok? Really, man? Really, man? I thought it was... Wow, I really didn't think that was going to kill. I really didn't think that was going to kill. I guess I underestimated Reebok. Reebok is just too damn powerful. Honestly, that that's a problem. That is a realistic problem we are having right now. Our Pokemon are too damn strong for, for these weakening Pokemon games. Um, I think we'll go ahead, though, and I, I think we'll still wrap the episode up right here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are absolutely fantastic. I'm sorry today's episode was a little bit... A little bit all over the place. We didn't really make too much progress, but in the next episode, we will take on the Ash Root. Um, we'll take on the rest of these trainers here, make our way to the next town, uh, get obviously an encounter, probably go to Meteor Falls. It's about to be freaking ridiculous. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Random I scrambled that Glock. You guys are incredible. Hit that like button down below, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I don't know what these hand signals are, but I'm having a good time. Um, you guys are amazing, though. Once again, thank you so much for your support, and I will see you dudes in the next episode. Peace! Bye!